Yo, 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 we are back with a brand new sneaker custom. Here we go. Now, the paints that I use for the customs are came up from nothing, I broke out the porch, and no light, so black, I white, a torch. went from a cat, now I hop in the porch, black, under pressure, they feel in the force. Me and my niggas, we stay in ten toes, best in the game, I'm a fucking pros, selling the dope, now I'm selling our shows, flex so much, cause pink. I wore the same clothes, broke out the leash, and my mama was mad, kicked out of school, cause Purple. the nigga was bad, caught me a check, so a nigga was and bad, run at them bands, bitch, course. I got me a bag, coming in first, you I ain't coming see in you. last, run at that money, Your I get too fast, this. get in my way, this rocket go last, talk about my name, get left in the Angel is all right. Let's start the custom in three, two, one. Since I was nine, bitch, I've been in the mix. Running the block and I ain't give a shit. Flex on the snap, now your ass is a lick. Stay with my niggas, you know who I'm with. Focus on money, don't care. All right, mic test, mic test. Let's do it, guys. Let's start the custom sneaker video. So, una, first, prepare your shoes by using GAC 900 and your acrylic flat white angelus paint. So the ratio is one is to one. We are we are using this process because we want the shoe to be primed. Kailangan ni prime yung shoes para kumapit yung paints for better paint adhesion tsaka mas mas vibrant yung paints kapag mas puti yung base so yan haluin lang natin just mix it well mix 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 and then slightly apply it onto the shoes using a flat nylon brush yeah yung GAC 900 is a thinning agent for the acrylic paint para mas malambot yung texture ng shoes hindi siya titiga so ginagamit siya sa inners para hindi ma masakit sa paa yung rubbers yung texture I mean so, and paint lang natin so make sure all of the surface is covered with the paint you can always go back the second time if you want actually I covered this surface about 3 to 4 times So yung base shoe kasi, yung Nike logo is black. That's why kailangan natin si siya i-prime ng white acrylic acrylic leather paint. Um take note, walang GAC 900 yung gamit ko dito. Hindi siya naka-mix ng GAC 900. Solely acrylic paint siya. Walang halo. So, the first coat. Yeah, I think this is the first coat. Or second, I'm sorry. I think this is second coat. Your first coat talaga hindi... Hindi siya papantay. Don't worry. As you go along, as you apply more thin coats, the paint will be more solid. It will be more opaque. So the trick here is just to be patient. Allow drying time. Use a blower if you need. Use a hair blower if you need the shoes to be dried at a certain point. Ginagamit ko rin yung 
hair dryer para mas mabilis yung process. So, yun yung mga paints na ginamit natin. Uh, lilac. Maganda yung lilac, promise. Ang ganda ng rehistro sa sapatos. Lalo na combined with pink and purple. So, one trick na ginagawa ko para hindi sumabog yung acrylic dun sa palette is kailangan nyo ng barbecue stick tapos idikit nyo lang yung tip habang nagpo-pour kayo ng paint para yung paint um, dadaloy lang dun sa stick and hindi siya hindi siya makalat that's one uh, one way of pouring the paint na hindi siya that's not messy just let the paint slide down the stick there you go and same thing with white Uh, konting backstory lang dun sa project na to. Um, galing to sa isang client. Ang gusto niya kasi ilagay yung mga um, landmarks kung saan sila nagpunta ng nanay niya. So, binigay niya sa akin yung mga landmarks na pinuntahan nila and then nag-research ako kung ano yung mga cities na yun, or ano yung makikita dun sa mga cities and then yung mga pictures and then kung paano ko sila inisip ko rin kung paano ko sila ilalagay dun sa shoes so gumawa muna ako ng mood board para kolektahan lahat ng references and then yung color palette nirequest din niya and tinanong ko din kung ano yung favorite colors niya so sabi niya pink, purple and black so magandang Maganda ang combination yun. And then, what else? So yun, basically, gusto niya landmarks yung nasa shoes. Kumbaga, memories ng travel niya with her mom. Yun, yun pala. So ito yung first layer ng uh, pink and white, combination of pink and white. It's a sneaker. Sobrang ganda ng Angelus Ak. Uh, leather paint, grabe. I can't stress enough. Lalo na kung yung surface na pinag-a-applyan nyo, super clean and primed. Sobrang ganda ng lapa, lapad. Ng lapat. Ng lapat. first coat pa lang to. This is just the first coat. Don't worry if you don't cover every ounce of area. Every square inch of the area. You can always go back to it. Get back at it for the second time. So yun, hindi madali mag-paint ng sneakers. Kailangan nyo talaga ng... Una-una, kailangan nyo mahalin yung ginagawa nyo. Kailangan mahal nyo magpinta, mahal nyo, mahal nyo yung drawing, mahal nyo magpaint. Kasi, at the end of the day, ano siya eh, hard work pa rin siya. Hard work talaga.
So usually pag nagpipinta ka ng sneakers, gumagawa talaga muna ako ng mock-up sa computer. Tapos, isa-send ko yun sa kliyente. If approved sa kanila yung ginawa kong mock-up, saka lang ako magpo-proceed dun sa actual shoe. Kasi ang hirap kapag hindi na gusto, sinimulan mo na yung design sa sapatos or nagpaint ka na sa sapatos pero hindi alam ni client ang hirap niyang i-revise mahirap siyang baguhin lalo na pag yung client mo hindi niya alam kung ano yung gusto niya ba diba? mahirap yun so kapag magsimula ako ng project lagi kong pinapa-approve yung mock-up or yung study para makita nila ah, ganito na yung kalalabasan close to this yung kalalabasan ng shoes or yung sneakers so yun, pag, kapag nag na sila edi maganda, nag ka for for 5 minutes kasi gagawin mo na yung actual work actual hard work Enjoy siya, pero yun nga, trabaho, trabaho talaga siya. And masaya ako na, masaya akong ginagawa ko to. Promise. I love doing it. I really love painting shoes. Kasi, um, because I can apply the art work into, not just a 2D plane, but into a 3D plane. Into a tactile 3D shoe. Kasi yung mga, unlike paintings, 2D lang sila, di ba? Pero not, no, not saying na I'm against it. Mas, nag-enjoy lang ako dahil nakikita ko siya in a, in a 3D uh, object. So yung um, price, okay, let's talk about pricing uh, sneaker customs. I think kailangan ng new video para dito. How to price sneaker customs. Yung marami kasing factors yan eh. Una-una yung complexity ng sneaker custom. Pangalawa, complexi- complexity of design. Sorry, complexity of design. Two, the base shoe 3 how long will it take you to do it yan maraming factors pero ako yung base price ko is around 220 dollars or kind of 10 10 plus 1000 10k kasama na yung base shoe doon pala. So, yung base shoe, mga Quare Vans or Converse na All-Star, it's worth around 70 USD or 3,000 pesos here in Manila, Philippines. Pero, yun, yung profit is around 5,000 to 7,000 or 8,000. So, yung, yung price ko ngayon, as in total price, if someone will ask me to do a sneaker custom, it's around $250 or around um, 10000 to 12000 pesos per shoe. Siyempre, iba pag ano, uh, tropa, tropa price. Meron, tinatawag na, meron akong tinatawag na tropa price. So, ex- Kapagulad nito, extremely discounted to. Kasi nagpagawa siya ng, ano, ng dalawang sapatos. Uh, sa kanya rin yung Rick and Morty. Na Rick and Morty X Vans. Rick and Morty Vans custom na shoes. And this Nike Santa Force Travel uh, shoes. Both shoes sa kanya. 
sa pinagawa niya. So, ma- malaking discount kapag maraming shoes yung pinapagawa. For me. So, ganun yung pricing ko. So, kung mag-start pa lang kayo, um, start small siguro. Pero, ang pinaka-importante, kailangan nyo mag-practice. Kailangan nyo mag-practice magpinta. Uh, I do not recommend itong mga Angelus paints kasi sobrang mahal niya. Super mahal. Pero dun sa price kasi na binabayaran nyo, sobrang ganda ng paint quality. Yun kasi, yun kasi yung strength ng Angelus paints. Ang recommend ko na paint is yung by Philoscopic Drip. Pangalan niya Drip by Philoscopic Drip. Sponsor niya naman ako, Drip. Shout out. Shout out to Drip Paints. Gusto ko matry yung Drip Paints. Uh, bibili ako niyan sa mga next videos ko. Gusto ko mag-review yung paints. And gusto ko rin silang matry. Gusto kong gamitin din sa sneaker customs na gagawin ko. Marami pa tayong projects coming soon. So, standby lang kayo dyan. Chillax. So, ito yung, so back, back to the design, ito yung Twin, twin Towers from uh, Malaysia, the Petronas Towers. Kasi yung acrylic matte finisher from Angelus ay hindi super matte. Meron pa rin siyang gloss. Kaya kailangan yung uh, haluan ng dollar. There you go guys. See you.
thank you for watching the video guys i really appreciate it like comment subscribe thumbs up if you like it until the next sneaker custom peace out